Greg. Here we go again. Here we go again. Uh, welcome, you guys. I'm Hamby. This is Greg. You Hello. can find us on Twitter. Uh, I am at Hamby San Diego, and this handsome, gorgeous specimen is <laughs> at so on the reg special. underscore Greg. Uh, we're talking Walking Dead tonight. We are. We are covering the Daryl slash Abraham slash Sasha episode. Yes. Where have they been? Now we know. Yes, and uh, we won't get too much into the details of it, but uh, I wanted to point out two things I really liked about this episode. Go. Daryl is an optimist. Yes, behind that grizzled face of his. Yeah, but unlike any other character in The Walking Dead, the the actual zombie apocalypse has been good for him, and it's shown him humanity. It's mm. it's it's brought leadership out of him. Yeah. He you know he'll challenge Rick and say we need to go out and find people when Rick says no we shouldn't, and then Rick will come around and go no you're right. Yeah, we do need to go out and find people, and so even even in the midst of they've just been attacked. And his bike is down, and he's off in the forest by himself, and he's been knocked out, and he's been tied up. Daryl's still going to do the right thing. And at the and at the end, when they turn on him, he still has that moment. He sees him in the rearview mirror, and he's like, ah, oh, crap, come on! And he says to them, when they say, uh, uh, we're sorry, and he says, no, but you will be. Mm -hmm. I took that two ways. One, he'll probably beat somebody up the next time. Not kill him, because he is compassionate. But... If this is how you act, you're, you're not going to survive. So you're not sorry, but you will. You're, you're going to pay for it. Yeah, he knows you're not going to survive. He's going to get that crossbow back. Let's be real. <laughs> he's going to get that crossbow back. That crossbow is on the loose. That crossbow dough. And I and I know I, I went hard on that topic, but the second thing I like, and this is the thing I always talk to you about, and yeah. the thing I always say The Walking Dead is truly about, yeah. is Sasha telling Abraham, it's about the choices we make and that even there's always going to be a zombie apocalypse. There's always going to be people attacking. There's always going to be traffic on the road. There's always going to be that person that pisses you off at Starbucks. But it's the choices you make and taking and accepting responsibility for them that truly matters. And that, to me, I was like, hit it on the head. You hit it on the head. <laughs> what did you think about the episode? I actually thought you might not like this episode. It was another, yet another in the chain of filler episodes, but it was very good, I thought. Cool. It was entertaining, yeah. and it, it actually moved, I didn't think it was dragging at all. They, uh, they, they, they moved the story, well, they didn't really move the story, but uh, I, I did like the way like it was done. It looks like they're going home. It looks like they're finally going home, and maybe we'll have some closure. Very creative writing to turn one day into a whole season. Or at least half a, a couple season. days. Yeah. Yeah. Two last things to hit on. Um, what did you think about? Uh, I guess is I don't even know if we got his name. Dwight was the guy's name, maybe. The guy that steals the crossbow ultimately. Right. Kept talking about kneeling. if you want to be kneeling. Yeah. You want to be kneelers. Right. Um, and I don't know if they are hinting at Jeffrey Dean Morgan's character who was just cast. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Mm. It could be, but who knows where we're gonna go with yeah. that? And the second part of that is. Uh, uh, I, I, I lost my train of thought. doesn't matter. Anyway. Perfect. Yeah. One what'd point. You, so what'd you think? I was just wondering what was, I didn't really understand the fuel plant. How was that overrun in the time that they were not at the fuel plant? Zombies. They zombies. Just zombies going to zomb. They just, zombies going to zomb. Zombies going to zomb, mm, yo. Uh, true. but I, I really liked the episode. I did. And I know it was yet another filler episode, but you know, and, and we still don't know what happened with Glenn. I get it. But I, I enjoyed it. I liked seeing Abraham and Sasha vibing off each other. Maybe yeah. vibing a little too much. His other uh, flang, she's still alive back at the... Uh, Rosita! Camp, right? Yeah, she's still kicking. Not for long. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll see what happens. What do you know? What did you guys... Uh, I have no idea. What mm -hmm. did you guys think of the episode? Uh, please leave us comments down below. YouTube.com yeah. slash Hamby Plays Games. We've had a request to do Into the Badlands videos. I don't know. I don't think we're there yet on Into the Badlands. I've not even watched the episode yet. Did you? No. Yeah. Not yet. I really. I think it looks great. I think it's going to get canceled. Well, we'll see. Most do. Uh, I think we have one, maybe two more episodes left before it goes to the break. Uh, and, oh, and, the, and, the elusive break. The elusive break. All the, right. The fall break. Thanks for watching, you guys. Again, Thanks, guys. you can find him on Twitter, and uh, you can find me as well, at Hamby San Diego, at on the reg underscore Greg. That's how we do it.